India, a land steeped in history, where empires rose and fell, leaving an indelible mark on its destiny. In this documentary, we journey back in time to explore one of the most remarkable empires, the Maurya Empire. Our story begins in the 4th century BCE, a time when the Indian subcontinent was a mosaic of small kingdoms and republics. Thus, a young warrior named Chandragupta Maurya emerged. Chandragupta Maurya crossed paths with the brilliant strategist Chanakya, who saw the potential for a united India. Together, Chandragupta and Chanakya forged alliances with other regional leaders, laying the foundation for a powerful empire. Chandragupta's forces laid siege to the capital city of Magadha, a turning point in his quest for supremacy. His combined army crushed the city defenders. The Nanda king fled the city out of fear, living its population under the mercy of Chandragupta. After the capture of Magadha, Chandragupta Maurya was crowned as the first emperor of the Maurya Empire. The Mauryan Empire was known for its formidable army, equipped with advanced weapons and strategies. Guided by the wisdom of his mentor Chanakya, Chandragupta embarked on a quest to unite India and create a grand empire. The Mauryan Empire reached its zenith under the rule of Ashoka the Great, Chandragupta's grandson. Ashoka's reign transformed the empire and India itself. Ashoka the Great is one of the greatest emperor of Mauryan dynasty and is believed to conquer almost all of the Indian subcontinent, making Mauryan Empire one of the largest and greatest empires in the world by then. He was also known for his sadistic rules for the criminal. The Kalinga War, a pivotal moment in Ashoka's life, led to his conversion to Buddhism. He embraced the principles of Dharma, marking the new era of ethical governance and religious tolerance. The Mauryan Empire left an indelible mark on India's cultural and architectural heritage. The city of Pataliputra, a marvel of urban planning, stood as a testament to their architectural prowess. The designs used in the Pataliputra capital are echoed by other known examples of Maurya architecture, especially the pillars of Ashoka. Many of these design elements can also be found in the decoration of the animal capitals of the pillars of Ashoka, such as the palmettes or rosette designs. The great Nalanda University was established in the 5th century in Pataliputra. The city was mostly built with stone structures. The stone buildings and palaces rose to several stories and were surrounded by parks and ponds. Another distinctive feature of the city was the drainage system. Watercourse from every street drained into a moat which functioned both as defense as well as sewage disposal. Megasthenes, the Greek ambassador, also described Pataliputra as the greatest city in India. He said that the city was laid out in the shape of a parallelogram, with 80 stades, length, on its long sides, and 15 stades on the shorter sides. A stone wall surrounded the city. According to travelers, this wall had 570 towers and 64 gates. Beyond the wall was a deep trench, which was used for defense and as a sewage system. Chinese scholar Fa Hain, who visited India sometime around AD 399 to 414, has given vivid description of the stone structures in his travelogue. The Mauryan army, known for its advanced weaponry, and military strategies secured the empire's borders and promoted peace. Diplomatic missions and trade routes extended from the Mediterranean to Southeast Asia, fostering cultural exchange and prosperity. As the Maurya Empire expanded, it also faced internal and external challenges. Ashoka's death was the first reason for the fall of the Mauryan Empire. His descendants were not capable of managing such a vast kingdom and could not retain the ideology of Dhamma. Yet, the Mauryan legacy endures through the ages. Ashoka's principles of peace and ethical governance continue to shape India's identity. 
The Maurya Empire's rise, reign, and legacy remain a significant chapter in India's history. Their contributions to governance, culture, and ethics continue to inspire generations.